my response to Maimonides really comes down to cosmology. Maimonides grounded his theology on his medieval view of how the universe works. And that involves a very different way of looking at the universe than what we do today, because we live post Copernicus, after we know that the earth is not the center of the universe. Maimonides, he believed that the earth is the lowest part of existence and that the further you go out from the earth, the closer and closer you get to pure spirituality until you then have to leave the universe at the furthest point of this sphere and God lives outside. And that means that God never interacts down here. He remains fully transcendent, fully beyond everything. The stars are alive. And that's what Aristotle said. And then comes Maimonides and he's trying to fit this in with scripture. And, uh, you know, in the Psalms, you know, it uses poetic language. It says, and the morning stars sang for joy. And he says, oh, there we go. See, the stars are angels. And so that meant that Saturn is an angel. Jupiter is an angel. Mars is an angel. All the stars are angels.